Today, we're going to be looking at camera jibs. Alright guys, today we're going to be looking at camera jibs and how these relatively inexpensive tools can add big value to your production. So this is a typical camera jib, the kind of thing you'd find at eBay and Amazon, I'll put a link in the description below. Now this jib is lightweight, it's made of carbon fibre and I can easily fit it in my camera bag and take it with me. Now when you're using a camera jib like this, you've got to be careful that you've got a tripod that's stable enough so it won't tip over. Today we're going to use the Manfrotto 5.2B. Setting up a camera jib like this is no mean feat, and I'm no expert, so we're going to go ahead and see how difficult and how long it takes me. So before we try the DSLR, we're going to try the Compact Canon, the G7X by Canon. We're going to put that in the front of the jib for now. So it's now time to put the handle of the jib on. When we're putting the handle on, we're going to add a counterweight. We're just going to use this gym weight, which is a 1.25 kg. We're going to unscrew the handle. The gym weight is just going to fit on there like that and we're going to screw the handle back on so that the weight can't escape. Now that we've got the weight on, we're just going to pull down the jib, screw it in, push it in and tighten up the screw. Ugh. Now when we're using the jib, the camera is free floating and there's very little weight. So moving the camera jib up and down is pretty simple. However, if you want to turn from left to right, you've got two options. On this jib, we've got a rotary head fitted, so it can turn from left to right. However, if you don't have a rotary head, you can also use the tilt pan head on the camera to move alongside with the jib and move up and down and left to right. So now I've fully expanded the jib and because of leverage, the weight of the camera at the end has actually gone up and our counterweight is no longer heavy enough. So we're gonna swap this one for the 2.5. So now we've got the jib fully extended, we've got the correct counterweight, let's go try out some jib shots. So I think from what you've just seen there, you can see having a jib like this adds a big value to your productions. It allows you to charge a little bit more for wedding and corporate videos, and it doesn't cost too much or take too long to set up. 